Join Kids Hat Family. Slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady wins the race. What happened, Tofu? What is it that you are thinking? Yes, dear. I am not able to understand how can a person win the race if he is slow and yet steady. There is a very famous story behind this. Should I tell you that first? Sure. The Hare and the Tortoise Long ago, in a forest, a small get-together of animals was taking place. You know what? I can beat anyone in this forest. Nobody can beat me in a race. Yes, I have seen him running. I bet he can beat anyone in this forest. Suddenly, from the crowd, they hear somebody laughing. <laughs> Why are you laughing? You think you can beat me in a race? I may not disagree with you, O oh Mr. Hare. But I might not deny that I have no fear of competing with you. Oh really? So let's have a race and let's see who wins. So one fine sunny day, all the animals gathered for the race. Everybody was sure that the hare is going to be a clear cut winner. Said the hare proudly. <laughs> now let's go, old man. I'll beat you in a second. The hare runs so fast that all the things on the path go for a spin. On the other hand, the tortoise is running too, but at such a pace that even snails could pass by him easily. <laughs> Suddenly, the hare stops and looks behind. Oh my! 
my lord! That tortoise is gonna take ages to reach this point. So let's just stop here and take some rest. By the time he reaches here, I would get good rest and then cover him up in a blink of a second. In the meanwhile, the tortoise slowly and steadily reaches the point where the hare is fast asleep. He very quietly tiptoes past the hare and the hare is all ignorant of this fact. Suddenly, the hare gets up by the rows of the crowd, cheering up the tortoise. Go tortoise, go! Go tortoise! Oh my lord, how is that possible? I kept on sleeping for so long that the tortoise is about to finish the race. He runs and runs and runs. But to his disappointment, the tortoise just manages to finish the race before he could. In the story, the hare was so full of himself. He was overconfident that he would surely beat the tortoise in the race. Because he is faster than that poor being in every other way. But, but the hare underestimated the tortoise and succumbed in his own fake overconfidence. Yes, and that's why only a person who thinks calmly and is not overconfident of himself wins the race in every sphere of life. Proud people can't survive for long. Hmm. Tia, did you hear about the new boy at school? No, what about him? A group of boys in my class tried to bully the new kid. He stood up for himself and complained about it to the authorities and our principal suspended the boys for a week. Wow! I'm glad that he stood up against his bullies. This reminds me of a story. Would you like to hear it out? Yes, Tia. The Three Billy Goats Gruff Once upon a time, there lived three billy goats named Gruff in a beautiful meadow near the river. There was the little billy goat, the middle billy goat and the big billy goat. Hey guys, I am getting so hungry. I think we should go to the other side of the river where there's fresh grass. Ours is all dried up anyways. That sounds like a great idea, but how will we get there? The only way is by crossing the bridge, but it's guarded by a mean troll. Don't worry about the troll. I'll go first and knock him down with my horns. And off went the little billy goat Gruff over the bridge. Clippity-clop, 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 clippity-clop. Ah, oh, who's that trip-trapping over my bridge? It's me, the little billy goat Gruff. I'm going over the other side for food. You're not crossing my bridge. I am hungry and I'm going to eat you up. Please don't eat me, sir. I'm just going to the other side to eat fresh grass. You see, 
I am so small. Wait for my big brother. He's much tastier and bigger than me. Okay, go ahead. The little billy goat acted cleverly and crossed the bridge. And now, off went the middle billy goat gruff over the bridge. Clippity clop, clippity clop, clippity clop. Roar! Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? It's me, the middle billy goat gruff. I am going over to the other side for food. You're not crossing my bridge. I am hungry and I am going to eat you up. Please don't eat me, sir. I'm just going to the other side to eat fresh grass. You see, I'm not so big. Wait for my big brother. He's much tastier and bigger than me. Ah, okay, okay, go ahead. He better be bigger and tastier or I will eat you all up. The middle billy goat acted smart and crossed the bridge. And now off went the big billy goat gruff over the bridge. Clippity clop, clippity clop, clippity clop. Roar! Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? It's me, the billy goat gruff. I am going over to the other side for food. Finally! The biggest billy goat. You are not crossing my bridge. I am hungry and I am going to gobble you up. Ha 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 ha. Come and get me, you mean old troll. And the furious big billy goat charges towards the mean old troll and hits him with his big curly horns. And off went the stinky old troll into the river while the three billy goats happily chewed on fresh green grass across the bridge. Wow, that was such a nice story, Tia. Indeed it was. The three billy goats stood strong against the mean old troll and crossed the bridge. They were not afraid of their bully and acted bravely. I understand the moral of the story. We should always be brave and stand up to bullies. We should never let anyone stop us from doing what we want and we must always work together as a team to overcome challenges. Am I right, Tia? Smart boy, Tofu! Tia, I think I don't want to try for the basketball team this year. But why, Tofu? Mm, most of the players in the team are very strong and tall. How will I win the game? Oh, Tofu, you don't have to be tall and buff like the other kids to win the game. It is more important to use your intelligence and quick-wittedness. Also, teamwork plays an equally important role. Really? Yes, Tofu. Would you like to hear a story to understand it better? That would be great! The Foolish Lion and the Clever Rabbit Once upon a time, in a large forest, many animals used to live together. But one day, a mean, powerful and vicious lion walked into the forest. He would go about the forest and kill the other animals even when he did not want to eat them. And soon the animals started dwindling in numbers. This stirred up a sense of fear among the animals and so they decided on a plan. We need to do something about this lion. He's killing us at will. Yeah, we can't let him keep doing this. I agree. We need to come up with a plan to stop him. The animals collectively called a conference and they agreed to send an animal to the lion's den every day as his food. The lion quickly accepted this proposal after it was conveyed to him. Oh mighty lion, we request you to stay inside your den and we would serve you every day with an animal for food. Ha! 
You foolish animals have finally understood that I am the king of this forest. You all must serve and respect me. Very well, sir. The lion proudly walked up to his den and remained there. He calmly rested in his den while every day one animal came to the den and became his food. One day it was the rabbit's turn. The rabbit was clever and so he devised a strategy to kill the lion. He arrived at the lion's den somewhat late. This made the lion even more hungry and furious. Where is my food? I am starving to death. These foolish animals. Ah! Just then, the clever rabbit walked up and instantly started narrating a false incident to fool the lion. Oh, great lion, forgive me for being late. You mindless rabbit, come here. Oh, please listen to me first, sir. There were six rabbits in total when we started, but one ferocious lion met us on the way. He took five of the other rabbits. He would not let me go, so I told him we already have you as a mighty king. He was extremely angry and spared me to inform you that he is now the new king of this jungle. You must leave the forest at once or he will kill you, he said. What? Another lion? Take me to him. I will show him who's the king. <sighs> Very well, sir. Let's go. But be careful. He is a lot bigger and stronger than you. Ha! We'll see. Look, there's the lion. There is a den inside the well where he lives. Let me see who this stupid lion is. The rabbit took him to the well and told him to see inside the well. When the lion saw inside the well, he saw his own reflection and misjudged it as the other lion. He then jumped inside the well to kill him and soon realized that he was stuck in the well, unable to get out. Oh no! Wait! What is happening? Why can't I get out of here? Where is the other lion? Help me! I'm drowning! Help me! You were too foolish to understand that it was just your reflection and you jumped in. You are now stuck in the well. You better stay there, you arrogant beast. The rabbit was wise and could beat the lion with his intelligence. The jealous lion did not think of his actions and only acted on impulse. His hunger and his ego had numbed his mind. Wow, the rabbit was quite smart. Even though he was little, he outsmarted the lion. That's right, Tofu. Remember that strength doesn't always win. I will remember that, Tia. Thanks for telling me this wonderful story. Anytime, Tofu. For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Hat family. Subscribe here.